Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I am hanging out in Campuchia Party Republic Studio. And there you go, that's how you spell it. And I am hanging out here with a very special guest. Her name is Nikki Nikki. She is a singer songwriter here in Cambodia. And pretty spectacular work, I have to say. Just Google Nikki Nikki and you'll see all kinds of stuff on YouTube from her. What we're doing today is we are going to shoot two different styles of portraiture using the exact same gear. And I'm gonna sort of walk you through how we're going to get there. Now we're gonna start with one of my very favorite lighting setups. It almost always works. It's a no fail lighting setup. And then we're gonna use the exact same gear to do something that's a little bit more risky, a very cinematic, gritty portrait. And we're gonna make it really emotional. So let's get started right now. This lighting setup is one you've probably seen me use several times before. And the reason for that is I wanna make sure I get a beautiful shot of Nikki. And so this setup is simple and it just works. So what I'm using here is my Leica M Type 240 with a 50 millimeter lens. We're shooting at about f8. And I have my favorite portable lighting setup. It's my Profoto off-camera flash B2 system. So it's right here. I have my B2 triggering this with an OCF two-foot octabox. It's gonna give us really nice soft light. There's no grid on this. And so we have a lot of light that can just spread out and get really nice and diffused. Now to give us a little bit more uh, motion, we've added a fan right here. I'm gonna turn this guy on and this fan is going to work well with this dress it's really flowy and it moves and Nikki's hair also is really flowy and it moves so that's going to give us some motion but one of the things that's really important for Nikki to understand is which way to face because if she faces away from this light what's going to happen is the light's going to go this way all of this is going to show up in shadow and the fan is going to blow her hair across her face that is not what we want and so instead what she's going to do is she's going to face into the light that's still going to give us nice soft light this way with some shadows over here but her face will be evenly illuminated we'll get really nice catch lights in her eyes and that fan is going to blow the hair out of her face and that's going to work just perfect now because of the direction and the distance of the light to Nikki it's not really close to this background and we've already learned that this will fall into darkness and that's going to complement everything so we have a winning lighting setup that's just one light one fan and a perfect model so we're going to shoot that right now Now that we have that beautiful portrait that works, we want to do something that's a little bit more cinematic, a lot more emotional, and much more punchy. Now to do that, we have a few tricks up our sleeves. The first is we're not going to use any flashes, none at all. What we're doing is we're going to use constant light. So I have my uh, modeling light turned on on my B2, and that gives us a few tricks that we can use. The first thing is it's not extremely bright, and that allows us to crank up the ISO in my camera, which makes this look a little bit more cinematic because we're gonna add some noise. I'll do some post-production to turn that noise into film grain, and that is gonna look really cool on you. The other reason we're using the modeling light and not the flash is because I wanna shoot this more uh, as a more cinematic look. So I need really shallow depth of field. So I'm shooting with a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens at 1.4, and that means that the background is going to fall out of focus. I've added some lights back there. They're gonna show up as specular highlights. It's gonna look really cool, but it's gonna do one more thing for us that I think is gonna sort of wrap everything up. And that is, we're gonna have this little trick with color temperature. So this modeling light is about 2100 degrees Kelvin, but the background back there lit up by the normal studio lights, well, it's about 4000 degrees Kelvin, which means when we set our white balance correctly for Nikki, that background is going to fall into blue. It's gonna look really, really amazing. Now we wanna make sure that we shoot this widescreen, just like a movie, 16 by nine aspect ratio. To do that, I'm using my camera's live view feature, and on this, I actually have some guides that will show me exactly where I need to crop the image. So there's 16 by nine 
uh, guides. And because I want to see through the lens and not have to use live view, I'm actually going to add an electronic viewfinder. So on a Leica, to be able to see through the lens, you need one of these little guys. So I'm going to put that on top. That's what that is. So everything is going to work out for us to create this really punchy look. And I forgot one thing that we're going to do. We want to make her a little bit more emotional. So she is going to do some things with her makeup and look like she's crying. So when we add all that stuff together, shallow depth of field, color shifts, um, really widescreen look, grain, and an emotional model, this is going to look cinematic and I think it's going to look awesome. So let's do that right now. These images look great straight out of the camera, but they look even better with a few Lightroom adjustments. I took them to the next level by jumping over to Photoshop and doing some skin retouching, and then I took them over to the NYX software collection, specifically Analog Effects Pro 2, to add some texture. Now, while I was in Analog Effects Pro 2, I discovered that the images, because of the color contrast, well, they just lend themselves to all kinds of fun. And so once you shoot your images like this, Try some post-production to see the different effects you can get. By just using the presets in Analog Effects Pro 2, you can get some startling results. And it's free software, so why not play? I created my own custom preset, and here are my results. Thank you, Nikki. We had so much fun in the studio today. Nikki, better known as Nikki Nikki, is quite famous here in Cambodia as a singer. You should check out her stuff on Instagram and Facebook and especially YouTube. You can see all of her awesome songs. I've included links to those videos in the description of this video. And here's her Instagram feed, so you can check that out and see all of the stuff that she's doing right now. I've also included in the description of this video some links to other videos that I've made about white balance and the Nick software collection, so you can see sort of how we did all of these tricks for this really weepy cinematic look. So thank you so much for joining us for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. Click on the subscribe button right now. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time.